we're stepping into a university laboratory like no other. In a world first, this climate chamber in Salford houses, well, some houses. Today in here, it's a chilly minus six degrees. They can drop the temperature to minus 20 or crank it up to plus 40, throwing in wind and rain too, creating a stress test for how we build greener homes. It's about net zero and climate change. It's about, you know, overheating because obviously we've just seen a very, very hot summer. It's about energy efficiency and the cost of living crisis. And it's also about people's health as well because people spend a large proportion of their lives in their homes. So by doing the experiments here, we're addressing all sorts of different things that directly impact people's lives. So there's no sky here, just the lab roof. And the experiments will test things like showers which recycle heat from the water you've just showered in. Automatic blinds which close if a sunny day starts overwarming your house. And infrared ceiling panels which heat the people in the room instead of the air. So we're going to be building houses to this standard as early as 2025. That soon? It that, can really happen? That soon. We, we have got to really move with this project. We have to understand the design principle and we have to uh, encourage and motivate the supply chain to innovate to these type of products manufactured at scale to enable us to make that delivery. Behind the scenes, scientists will speed up the seasons with a watchful eye on how the houses perform. Now, this does feel a little bit like the Truman Show, but without the cameras, although here there's a door marked exit and you can leave. And in the coming weeks and months, people will be living in these houses for a few days at a time as part of the experiment. Clearly, what's happening here only relates to new build properties. As a country, we've also got to find ways to make older, existing housing stock more energy efficient and ready for a changing climate. We're far from home and dry yet. Peter Lane, 5 News, Salford.